case yesterday. They called seven witnesses. What did they argue? And in your estimation, was it effective? Well, I think that uh, Michael Sussman has uh, a reasonable opportunity to be acquitted here. And I'd say this as a former FBI agent. I think the prosecution proved its case. I think the, the evidence is fairly overwhelming and compelling that he did lie to the FBI. The problem is during the trial, information came out that indicated that the information that Sussman provided to the FBI was then sent to uh, an FBI field office for investigation without telling that field office uh, who the source of the information was. And not only not telling them, but apparently obfuscating where the information came from to make it look as though the information came from the Department of Justice and not a private attorney representing the Clinton campaign. In fact, it appears as though FBI management, senior management from the director on down made a decision to withhold that critical information from the investigators on the street. In effect, headquarters lied to their own agents. Uh, about the source of that information. And then when those agents requested to be able to interview the source of the information, they were denied the opportunity to do that. The only reasonable uh, explanation for something like that is that FBI management, senior management at that time, didn't want the field investigators to know that the information came from a Hillary Clinton campaign attorney. Otherwise, the agents rightly would have questioned why they're conducting an investigation in this regard when it's when it's plainly coming from an opposition party. So I, I think that piece of information, which was actually brought forward by the prosecution in their case, it could be enough to raise questions in the jury's mind. Now, if they if they if they uh, evaluate based on the four corners of the evidence, he should be found guilty. But in a jury trial, all things are taken into consideration and we'll see how it turns out. All right. Uh, he did not take the, the stand in his own defense. Was that a wise move? It's a wise move always uh, from a standpoint from the, of the defense. Defense counsel will always advise their clients normally not to take the stand unless there's compelling reasons to do so. It opens up their uh, defendant to cross-examination by the prosecution where they could be made to look uncertain or they could be forced into telling another lie, which could be chargeable. So it's always a risk. It's a roll of the dice. But I think the defense team and Sussman himself felt fairly comfortable with the jury uh, that they didn't have to uh, have him testify. All right. We'll see how it uh, plays out. Kevin Brock, thank you. My pleasure. All right. Still ahead. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.